This is an introduction into finding the missing angles of a right angled triangle in trigonometry. So a right angled triangle is obviously 90 degrees here in the corner. And we have our angle, but this time we need to label the sides. So in trigonometry, we have three words. We have a hypotenuse. This is the longest side of the triangle, as you can see. Then we have the opposite. The opposite is always opposite the angle. And then the adjacent here is always in line with the angle. And one thing you need to remember is wherever the angle goes, the opposite follows. So if you have an angle here, the opposite becomes here and the adjacent will move this side because adjacent has to be level in line with the angle. So we need to know three things. Formula here, formula here, formula here. So we have tan, which is called tangent, but we've simplified it, cosine, which we simplified to cos, and then we have sine, which we shortened to sin. And for those that don't know, this symbol means an angle. It's actually called a theta, but all you need to know is it's an angle. So these are all trigonet trigonometry ratios or formulas, and we need them to solve the missing angles in the right angle triangle. So for example, we have X, which is our missing angle, and we have an opposite, and we have a hypotenuse. We have nothing on the adjacent. There's nothing here at all. So we're going to cross that out. So we have opposite hypotenuse. That means opposite hypotenuse is going to be sin. And it's an inverse. So it's negative one at the top. It's an inverse. When we find the angle, it's an inverse. When we find it aside, it is just sin but that's on my other videos so you need to look at my other videos missing angles is always an inverse so the next one we don't have anything on the opposite but we have hypotenuse and adjacent so ka because that's soa as we've done on other videos opposite hypotenuse and we have an adjacent hypotenuse which means ka which means we're going to use cos as you can see, adjacent hypotenuse. And then if we look at this one, there's nothing on the hypotenuse, but we do have an opposite adjacent. If we go to TOA, we have opposite adjacent, which means we're going to use TAD. Opposite adjacent. So as you can see, SOCA TOA is useful to remember which is the right ratio straight formula to use. And as you know, by looking at my other videos, I do use a silly meme, which is a sock, a, toe, a. Uh, that's how I remember it. Sock, a, toe, a. Sock, a, toe, a. So, so, a, opposite hypotenuse. Ka is cos, adjacent hypotenuse. And toe, a is opposite adjacent. I'm now going in to show you some examples how to find the missing angles. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So moving on, this is the slide of TOA, but we're looking for the missing angles, so it becomes tan inverse. Now it's really important to know that tan inverse is connected to missing angles only. So I've done a few um, examples and we'll go through them now. So first of all, check your sides. Well, we know these are tan. We know these are tan inverse, but just for checking sake, we know that there's nothing on the hypotenuse. 
So we are only working with opposite and adjacent. So we, we hit the criteria for this formula. So all we're doing is follow the win the formula. So we have tan inverse equals our opposite divided by our adjacent, which is 10. Now I want you to put this in your calculator like this. And then we should have our angle. Now I've called all my angles X because I like to keep it in an algebraic notation terms. So I've got X, but it's not going to be equals. It's going to be an estimate. And these squiggly lines mean estimate because we haven't had any instruction on our decimal places or whether it wants to be rounded off. So I'm going to estimate it at 31.0 degrees. And that's it. This is how easy it is. Once you've got the right formula, you understand where all your placements should be. You're fine. Oh, and you've got a scientific calculator, of course. So the next one. Oh, I've just done a mistake that I don't want you to do. I was just going to go into tan and not do the inverse. So inverse equals our opposite is 8 over 17. Pop that in your calculator. And then the answer will be an estimate again funny wiggly lines and I've got 25.2 same again term negative one or sorry inverse and then we have opposite is seven over 13 and then your calculator will spit out 28 or 28.3 or whereabouts. Next one. Opposite is 5 over 8. And then I get an estimate of 32 degrees. And then finally, we have tan inverse equals our opposite is 12, adjacent is 14, and our x, our angle, I've got it at 40. And that's it, finding missing angles using tan inverse. Now, if you head to my website, I've got this lesson up. Plus, I've got a worksheet that has different questions with step-by-step -step answers at the end. Bye-bye.